We're back with Super Rake here. And uh, let's just get everybody to introduce themselves and uh, tell us what you do with the band. This is serious this time, guys. Yeah. I'm John Stewart, play drums. Uh, John play guitar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob, and I sing. Hi. How are you? Emmy. And what do you do, Emmy? I, uh, do I do? I'm not sure. I'm John. I play. Uh, I think he plays bass. Okay. I play my prized ukulele, and I'm being very serious for a root beer here. He wants us to be a serious interview this time. So Thank my you. ukulele. And I'm amazing. Sean. I'm not in the band. But. Yes, she is. She is tonight. Tonight I'm in the band. I'll be up, up there singing with Bob. Cool. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask you, Bob. Um, I know you used to be a rapper, and we were commenting on what a wonderful voice you have. And um, it's not one of those things that you really think of a rapper having this really great, incredible voice. Um, how did you make the transformation between doing uh, the rap music and... Um, <laughs> Um, that was Sarah. I think that was Sarah. 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 That's Sarah from Kay's Choice. That's Sarah from Kay's Choice. That's John Rupert Stewart with her. She's going to take a picture of her. She's going to take for me. So I know. We're, we're supposed to be doing an interview with you later, so. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there goes Sarah from Kay's Choice. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, how, how has the transformation been for you? Uh, or, or it, how did that all come about and why? And well, when I was rapping, um, it, it seemed uh, the whole rap, the whole rap scene back then was a lot more socially conscious. You know, they were talking about stuff having to do with uh, you know the environment and uh, people's surroundings, and it was like urban expressionism to an extent. You know. And then it got it got more economic, um, geared toward money and, and misogynistic and stuff like that. You know? and I, I, I wanted to. I always wanted to sing. I never really did sing. And then when I came out to California and I met John, and there was a bunch of musicians around, like Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers and some of the guys from Fishbone. So uh, there was a band that was formed called Truly Disgraceous, which had members of all these different bands. And um, trying to conduct an interview. <laughs> so we all, you know, through true disgraces, I think a lot of people facilitated a lot of different things where people were able to kind of better themselves at what they did. Yes. And I, you know, it gave me an opportunity to get before a mic and try and sing. And I remember Flea told me, hey, you have a nice tone, man, you should keep singing. Yeah. Um, how does, um, you know, who does the lyrical writing for the band? I write all the lyrics. You write all the lyrics. And John Stewart actually helped Bob out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gets him over the head a couple of times with the drumsticks. All the songs were like curse words, you know. <laughs> he wrote them. Um, how does the music come together? Usually, sometimes uh, everyone will kind of propose a different song that they're writing on. I mean, I think uh, we do things kind of backward. Most bands jam together, and songs coming together and like a jam. And, and being that we have some prominent kind of you know, songwriting guys in the band, usually they, they come with a piece of work that everyone kind of like gravitates towards and then evolves into a song. Usually it's either John or, or Joel that write, write the music and uh, Hemming and John Stewart will kind of like add the finishing touches to the song and then I'll sit down and write some lyrics and sing it and then we'll rehearse it. And that's how the song kind of becomes formulated. Summer with the money that is big with some money. 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, here he goes. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off, then cut you off. <laughs> Darling, red isn't your color. Give me the hat. Give me the hat, or you'll become a hat. Give it to me!